Texas of Concord, Frank Go House and Jason Spriggs give the Minutemen plenty of size on the inside. The black, Jason Spriggs ready to jump it up against Eric Perry. There's the toss and we're underway. Sith hangs on, nearly threw it away. Spriggs had to use all the 6-8 to go up and get it and put it home. Held up by Steve Austin on the sidelines. Boy, what a mutual admiration society between these two coaches. Not only before the game, but during practices. Huxford missed the layup, but Spriggs tips it in. Jason Spriggs, who averages 10 points and 8 rebounds a game, and now a Dewan Alford down the lane. Missed the layup. Spriggs back in there, gets the tip in. All six of Jason Spriggs' points have come on the offensive glass. Up against this defensive pen. Kingsman going man to man. Nice scream by Spriggs, who goes in and missed the shot, and a blocking foul called on to Sean Prentice. I mean, Spriggs just absolutely laid out Nate Later. Prentice called for the block underneath the second on Deshaun. You'll get a chance to make the call yourself on the TCU replay. Franco House one-on-one -on -one with Prentice. The help too late coming over, and Spriggs gets the offensive rebound again. He has 10. That's his average. Boy, House gets so much attention when he's in there that Spriggs is able to come right over the uh, top and tip it. Now House open for three. Spriggs, another offensive rebound. They just have no answer for the big 6'8 kid down low. Well, when House puts it up, it's almost like an entry pass and a nice job again by Spriggs to the battle inside. Chuck, there were times last year when we saw that young man, and even though that time he was just a sophomore, we thought he should be more aggressive, and tonight he's showing some of that. He's really mature. Apart that Concord zone, so Concord goes man-to-man -man here to start the fourth. Leidig's shot is blocked by Savetti, 4-3, and Spriggs with the rebound. Great outlet to Huxford, and he'll take the screen from House. Down low for Spriggs, and Nate Leidig again comes in under the elbow of Spriggs and gets called for the foul. The figures and two others with eight. Leidig had a block by Spriggs. Ken, but Sith is so quick, lost the ball, but right to Spriggs for two. Jason Spriggs with 14, the lead Concord. Well, it's Spriggs with those follow rebound baskets that he had early in the first half and making his free throws and scoring here. Bo Hunt might be talking to him. And what we've seen in the first two weeks, and we've seen some great performances. One of them turned in by tonight's TV 46 player of the game. WHME TV 46 high school basketball player of the game from the Concord Minutemen, Jason Spriggs. Jason, 14 points tonight. Just congratulations on what a great game out there. Yeah, it's just all about the teammates, uh, getting the ball in the post, all about the guards. They don't know to get done in the post, not hogging the ball and everything. You guys had a tough loss earlier against John Glenn. You guys come out against this pin team. Not many people thought you guys would have this great of a game against them, and not only you guys came out here with a big victory. Yeah, you know, coming off a big loss against John Glenn, wasn't exactly expected, then getting beat by Penn last year, it's a huge game to win. You had some teammates out there with Franco House, some younger guys that really stepped up tonight. Seth Huxford drained it from the outside. Just talk about your teammates out there. Yeah, Frank, Franco House is a big player, big guy. You know, working the post and shooting three and dribble. Uh, Seth, is, Seth is a big contributor. Stepped up a lot this year. Uh, Ramon, exactly. He's five foot nothing. Being able to dribble the ball around all these guys is huge. We talked about him a little bit earlier. His past his curfew, we thought. Yeah, that's what we think, too. Uh, he's a small guy, but plays a big part. Jason, congratulations on being player of the game. Thanks. Back to you guys. You know, uh, Spriggs and House. I mean, uh, those are our two greatest concerns, and they're two huge responsibilities physically for our front line players. So we have to keep them out of the paint, keep them off the offensive boards. And obviously in the, their sectional, no one was able to do that. So then they beat an outstanding team without their point guard uh, in Warsaw. We'll be ready. Uh, during the course of the season, he's had some up and down games. When he's on, he makes Concord as good as anybody out there. At six foot eight, if he gets on the offensive glass and plays defense like he can, he's a big factor for the Concord Minutemen. And their keys to win under basket. Huxford to Alford. He put up the shot, no good. Got his own rebound, put it back up, no good. Tipped up by Spriggs and in. Jason Spriggs on the board. To house back to Alford. His jumper on the way is off no good. Tipped up, but in. Nice job again by Spriggs. Well, Jason Spriggs with two legitimate tips at the rim. Outside. 
That's McCray with a three on the way. It's off no good. And oh my God. The loses was backing out under Spriggs, and the rebound goes to Alford. Now back to Spriggs. He goes up again and gets fouled. And the loses might have got him a couple times. And it is on Nick Galuzis. With three Valpo Vikings stand right there, let the ball just bounce away to Dewan Alford. Watch the rebound battle in here. Spriggs going. Now we're just underway with second half action. The shot put up by Butterfield on the outside, and Jason Spriggs says, nah. Back out top. Clinton McCray. Huxford, three on the way. It's off no good. Rebound to Alford. Alford wanted to go right back up. Ball is loose. They get it down the baseline to Spriggs, and he tries to go up for the shot and a whistle and foul called on Valparaiso. And that one's on Hill. No, it's on Butterfield. That's his first. Boy, at first I thought maybe they're going to call a travel. Alford kicked the ball out. There's a nice. You saw the bump there. Butterfield draws the foul. Squares up. Three and away. Off no good. We weren't sure he had uh, ready to move the ball on the perimeter. And there's another three-pointer put up. And Spriggs puts that one. Hello. Up into the cheap seats. Bo Hunt, uh, you're down on the floor. First of all, uh, did you get a chance to talk to Steve uh, or Classman? Concord on the other end. Shot up no good. Rebound fought for. House has it. Puts it right back up and in. Same thing again. Bob House and Spriggs will bring it end to end. Went around the defender. Got tied up. Got it into Spriggs. He goes strong. Oh! Slams it home. Little attitude there from Spriggs, and you like to see that. They need that. Now the climber in the corner to Hummel. Hummel drives to the basket. Gave it off on the weak side to Suter. Shot up blocked by Spriggs. Game of the week being brought to you by First Federal Savings Bank. Your local home mortgage, mortgage experts and home of Grogi. Go green check-in. Yeah. Opposite side. Offered three and away off the good. Spriggs rebounds. Puts it up and in. Boy, Spriggs has gotten busy here in the second half. Open for regional coverage from Michigan City. And Valparaiso leads Concord 49-46. We're back in a moment. Don't go away.